straight out of Narawahi in New Zealand. Here's Mario. Hello, Mario Vlogs number 462, Kiwi S. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, the other night on my walk, I was walking down the main street of Narawahi and I saw something that I thought, whoa, I know I'm in New Zealand now. It was as kiwi as pineapple lumps or hokey pokey ice cream or kiwi fruit or, or jandals and things like that. And here it is, a picture here. So what we have here, this is the main street of Narawai here. Um, and this doorway here is on the corner of, well, Great South Road, what used to be State Highway 1, and Jesmond Street, the main street of Narawai here. And you can see here a whole lot of shoes outside the door. And this door, uh, until a, a little while ago, used to be our lotto shop and stationery store, but um, the guy... Um, sold up and uh, moved on and uh, it's been vacant um, just uh, in recent times but uh, the door was open and I noticed inside um, there was some kids and uh, they had a table tennis table and uh, some uh, pokey machines or you know um, sort of gaming machines and things like that in there and so the kids were all going in there I don't know who was running it or not but uh, in typical New Zealand fashion, they took their shoes off and left them all outside. I don't think there's many places uh, that you would see that, um, you know, around the world. So that made me, as I said, made me think of that it was as kiwi as, uh, you know, pineapple lumps and um, hokey pokey ice cream and jandals and other sorts of uh, kiwiana that we claim so proudly in this country. But... Uh, yeah, you know there's Kiwis living nearby if there's shoes outside the door, that's for real. I mean, it's not a, a, it's a very common uh, custom here in, uh, in New Zealand and likely in other countries, but uh, yeah, in the main street, uh, yeah, just, um, well, made me be, uh, I guess, proud to be a, a Kiwi in some ways and that we still have um, some aspects of um, our old times uh, culture and what have you are uh, still uh, ever present uh, in the for everyone to see, which is is bloody marvellous. Actually, I uh, yeah certainly made me smile and made me uh, think enough to uh, put it here on my on my vlog uh, and uh, Kiwi ads. Yeah, all good. All right. So um, the diary today. So well, not looking too looking a bit bare in the, in the exercise and yard front that's for sure and um, the lawns aren't growing uh, the weather's um ah oh, well it's not really conducive at the beginning and end of the day it's quite cool um we had some nice sunny spots and it was just uh was hearing rain on the roof there before so it was pissing down there a while back so um yeah i and i worked till five my last class finished at five so I wasn't really in the in the mood for any uh, go out for a walk or anything like that or mow any lawns. So um, yeah, just let it ride. Um, that and I did read in a book that uh, you know you should slow down over winter and let your body uh, use up the fat that it's stored in the summer or something like that. Um, I didn't quite read it thoroughly. I just read it to the point where I knew that I could uh, maybe use it for some sort of excuse not to do something. Um, which is uh, is poor, but uh, we'll have to get on to this and uh, get get a, a, a better a better habit or a better routine going. So four six two Kiwi as we're going to have a bit of a question uh, on that coming up. Uh, one three two where what who? It's a where. Uh, where is this? Uh, taught four hours in the at the coal face today. Enjoyed every minute of it. It was bloody marvellous. Uh, students were. Uh, really, uh, really good, and um, yeah, <laughs> they all turned up on time and early, and that was great. The, a lot of enthusiasm, which was um, pretty, pretty good. And uh, yeah, got a little bit of prep to do for tomorrow. Uh, staff meeting first thing in the morning, and um, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, organise a team photo. That's going to 
um, is, could be quite interesting. So um, we'll see how that all all pans out. So let's go to today's uh, challenge and question. And uh, here it is. Now I've mentioned the answer to this beforehand. I made a point of that. So Kiwi as, and I've got a picture of what it is here. Now it needs to be uh, quite specific. Um, I, I mean, it's quite clear what it is, but particular type um, that is uh, w w what we call it in New Zealand. So uh, yes, we need to be a bit careful on this. Um, this is our. This is one of our. Um, our icons uh, here in uh, in New Zealand, so you've got to get this right. We can't. You've got to got to get it bang on. So uh, yeah, just um, just be prepared for that to be quite a specific answer as to exactly what this is. Um, it's um, perhaps not totally. Aspects of it are not totally traditional. The um, but uh, it's generally the idea that we're after here. So it's Kiwi as, and that's that's that there's something that's uh, iconic in this country. All righty. Now, yesterday's Hall of Fame um, related to Mat Matariki and the um, the the uh, cluster of stars known as Pleiades in the uh, in other areas, and uh, it's also a badge on a car on the Subaru, as it turns out. Uh, from uh, Japan, where um, that um, refers to the cluster of stars as well. That's their name for it, the Subaru. It's actually uh, seven stars, but uh, two of the stars are very close together, and uh, they are represented by the one large star. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so seven stars or seven, seven sisters they are sometimes referred to as the uh, daughters of one of the Greek gods, I think. So uh, WT got that and ended Moz's run. I was suggesting that Moz may clean the board, uh, you know, dominate the board there um, for a while, and, and he suggested, well, yes, that would be possible if we made the board a little bit smaller. And uh, WT pointed out that it had been quite considerably longer in earlier days, so I went and revisited uh, one of the earlier days and a bit of a nostalgic look back to vlog number uh, 148 and um, yes, I saw some things there. Occasionally I do, do go back and have a look at some of my old vlogs and uh, just uh, see where I've been and where I've got to and uh, find it quite interesting. So uh, that's it uh, for today. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing. Please uh, comment and give whatever feedback you wish um, in, the, in the comments below the videos. I more than welcome and I generally I manage to reply to just about all of them. Um, so and unless I uh, accidentally miss one, um, which does happen from time to time. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for your support. Cheers. See you. And uh, smash that like button.